your brain has tough time remembering whole sentences. Well, you can try remembering my last sentence. We are all good at remembering keywords and images. From the day we were born, our brain has been learning new things by associating them with things that we know already. Think about the last time that you tried to write an assignment, a report at work, or a narrative piece. It must have been so difficult to get your first thought, right? Enter mind mapping. A mind map is a diagram used to visually organize thoughts and ideas. In a mind map, you work your way from a central idea, branching out to finer details of that idea, kind like a hierarchy of thoughts. In this workshop lesson, I will show you how I develop ideas, make plans, and brainstorm effectively using MindMapper, a free mind mapping software. The first thing that we we'll have to do is to go to a browser and look for the mind mapper software. All right, so all I do here is I'm going to search for mind mapper light. You have to add a light at the end because that's the free version. Okay, so mind mapper light. Okay, so we're going to download it from download.cnet.com because that's when you that's where you can actually find it because on the main website of mind mapper they kind of removed it, I guess. So let's go there. Okay, so download.cnet has actually uh, been loaded. So all we have to do here is click download now. We still have to take a moment to wait. So it says here your download will begin in a moment. So let's just give it a moment. Okay, so here it is. All I have to do is press the start download button. And voila, we have mind map or download it. All we have to do now is go to open. And the next thing is we have to now accept the license agreement and go next so, so that we can actually install the software. I already installed the mind map or software, so I'll simply go ahead and close it. And then I'm going to open it just like I open any other software. I go to my start button, type mind map or, and here it is, mind map or light. I click to open it I give it a moment to load up. So here we are in mind map. Uh, what I want to work on right now is basically the structure of a website. Okay, I'm, I want to develop a website for a client and then I have to think about the structure of that website. This company um, uh, provides services like um, soft development of software okay, and, uh, and graphics. So how, how are we going to come about this um, website. It's going to be difficult for me to just start developing things. I have to design the structure of how this uh, website is going to go like. Okay, so what we have here is a central idea. Okay, where it says central topic. Central topic is a website. And basically what we're going to be doing here is, uh, now we're going to be thinking around this website. So the first thing I'm thinking about is what central page, what, page, uh, what pages am I going to have in the website? First of all, I need to have a home page. So what I'll do is I need an idea that is branching out of the central idea. To have an idea that is branching out of another idea, you press the space bar like that. So I'm going to start typing home. So I need the home page and I press enter to have another idea still branching out of the central idea. Another page I need is the about us page. Again, I'm going to press enter to have another idea. I need the services page. Still thinking around the website idea, press enter. I need, I need the blog. All right, so I think this is enough for me. I need the home, about our services and blog. These are the, the pages that I need in the website. Then I, we may actually be thinking of some of these pages maybe branching out or some of the sections may be branching out into other sections. For example, for the About Us, okay, I need to talk about the background of this company. So what I do is I click there and press space bar to have an idea branching out of this About Us. So uh, in the background of the company, still thinking about the About Us, I think I need profiles of the team, so our team. Like that. All right, we could still go on and have further ideas branching out of these other ideas. But then, I, I, let's talk about services. Okay, so services, I have hit the space bar. Um, we have, for example, software services. 
still under services, we have um, um, uh, graphic designing services. All right. But the software services are also branching out. So I'm thinking around say, the software idea. So I can click it and press spacebar to have a child idea branching out of it. So uh, for example, mobile apps. I press enter, still thinking about the same software idea. Uh, I have uh, okay, desk, desktop apps. and database systems. All right, I think that's great. What about the blog, okay? What ideas do we have around the blog? I click blog and press space bar. I think we're going to be having team news. We're also going to be having some uh, how-to articles. Um, and of, of course, some miscellaneous ideas. So as you can see, I have the whole structure of a website. I can actually click this icon and drag around uh, the, the, uh, the branches. Okay, something like this. Okay. When I'm actually creating the pages themselves, I could say, okay, what about the, the background page? I have created it. So that's basically task done. You just have to double click, that's task, task done. Our team, I think it's half done at the moment. Okay, we can even set the priority. For example, the home page has a first priority, that's priority number one. And at the moment I could say I'm, I'm actually task start, I haven't started it yet. You can actually format it in different ways. I will leave that to you to explore different other things that you can do. For example, adding clip ads to the thoughts that you have around here. Or you can format all these up into different, um, different ways. For example, you go to styles, and pick a different style that you like. Okay, uh, the red, no, I don't like it. I think uh, I would like something like this. It's nice. There are so many ways in which you can apply mind mapple. Whether you are brainstorming of a new website like I'm doing here, or whether you are brainstorming about a report that you want to write, and whether you are starting a new company and you want to think about the services that you can provide. You can start from the central idea and then see how that branches out to child ideas and up until you have the whole thought mapped out. You're going to see that that way of thinking is going to help you to think faster and think creatively. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you'll still be coming back to the page. If you haven't liked the page yet, like the page because we're going to be having lots of other uh, workshop videos in the coming days. Thank you.